Hey everybody! So I know I said that my next video was going to be me showing off my new virtual reality headset, but uh, something came up that I feel like I need to address now. Uh, over the years since I've started watching NHL, I have put up with a lot of nonsense done by the league. Things that have upset me and made me moderately angry and I have sort of kept quiet about it. But uh, today I have decided to talk about something that I cannot be quiet about. Uh, as many of you know, I watch NHL on desktops, uh, or a desktop at home. Now I'm at work, and uh, my boss knows I'm making this video, and no temu, I do not watch NHL at work. Uh, but uh, I'm having, I have this open just to show. Normally in Via Play, as you guys have seen, I have this really awesome game center thing, and I can watch yesterday's games, and I can fast forward and pick if I want to watch uh, the home feed for the Red Wings or someone else. Uh, and everything is fantastic. But the NHL has gotten rid of Game Center completely in North America and also here in Europe, which means now through Via Play, I can just watch whatever repeat the Via Sat Hockey Cable Channel is showing, um, and I can't pick anything, I can't go back in time, and I basically have no options. Uh, and if I wanna watch a game, I have to stay up really late and then hope that if I don't stay up really late the next day that Viasat Hockey is playing that game. Um, and the other downside to that is, uh, I will show you here in a second. If you can, oh wait, now it's in English. What in the world? It was just in Swedish before, which I don't speak much of. Yeah, okay, so now it's in English. It was in Swedish, and now it's in English. Can't make this stuff up, folks. Um, oh, no, now it's in Swedish. And I can't change that. I have lots of options here. And there's no option for language. Just up and down volume, no option for language. So uh, basically what the NHL has uh, said pretty much is that they don't really care about uh, their fans' viewing experience. They don't really care about those of us who rely heavily on announcers. And uh, they also don't care about Viaplay as a company because they're about to lose my 25 euros a month, and I'm sure they're going to lose many other people's too, through no fault of their own. So uh, if anyone from the NHL front office is watching this, you are upsetting your fans, and you're about to hurt businesses in Europe who sort of rely on carrying your service to make any semblance of a profit. So you could do the reasonable thing, which would be bring back NHL Game Center, or you could just be total jerks and get away with it probably because all of us love this game way too much and we'll just deal with it like we always do. Um, I don't really know much else what what yeah. I don't really know what much else to say other than that I am sad and a little bit frustrated because obviously I can't watch my hockey anymore uh, or listen to my announcers anymore because I don't speak Swedish and the Finnish guy sorry to say, isn't very good either. Uh, you know, I understand him, but he's just not, he's not my Fox Sports Detroit or, or uh, you know, the CBC announcers or any of the other announcers who, who I prefer to listen to. So come on guys, just bring it back. And Via Play, anyone from Via Play, if you're watching this, I'm not mad at you, I know it's not your fault, but I'm also not gonna pay 25 euros a month to watch Swedish dubbed cartoon network shows, sorry. Thanks.